Welcome back to the Transform Your Mind to Transform Your Life radio, podcast, and television show. I'm your host, Life Coach Marina Young, and sitting in the guest chair today is Tina Anderson, founder of Just Thrive. And today, Tina and I are going to be talking on the topic, the role of gut health in mood and brain health. Welcome, Tina. <laughs> Thanks, Myrna. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I'm so excited to talk to you as well. Yeah, we're going to be talking today about why gut health is so important. You know, I I have learned that um, uh, the gut is the second brain, or some people even want to call it the first brain, or, but it's very important, and a lot of people don't focus on it. But I've been in this space for quite some time now. I guess because I'm, you know, in my 60s <laughs> and it becomes more important then that I have, you know, been in the space of gut health. So I'm glad to talk to um, uh, to you guys today about gut health. But Tina is going to introduce something today, which is gut and brain health combined together. So it's awesome. So stay tuned. So let me um, give you a short bio on Tina. Tina Anderson's journey into the world of health had a unique start and some unusual turns. She began her career as a trial lawyer who specialized in settling cases by bringing both sides together, a personal passion of hers. Once her second child arrived, Tina left that high stress job behind so she can focus on her family. Luckily, she was still able to use her considerable legal skills to point her career in a new direction as the in-house counsel for a family pharmaceutical company. But what Tina saw there made her change direction again. Frustrated by the many abuses in the pharmaceutical industry, Tina turned towards the field of natural health and found her life's work. She channeled her energy into learning all she could about disease prevention, good health maintenance, that led her to discover the importance of gut health and how connected and crucial it is to overall health and wellness. To share her discovery with the world, Tina, along with her husband, created a unique supplement that contains the superior probiotic strains of renowned researcher, Dr. Simon Cutton. By promoting gut health and probiotics, Tina shares her passion for wellness, helping others live their best physical and emotional lives. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So let's dive right in, Tina. You are the founder of Just Drive. Can you tell us where that came up with, how you came up with the name, and why is it so different from all the other supplement companies out there? Yeah. So um, as you had mentioned, I have a very interesting journey. I was I started out in litigation. And then after being in that field for a while, um, it, I was working crazy hours. I started having children. Um, I wasn't fulfilled in my career. And so I decided to leave that behind and go into a family pharmaceutical uh, business and um, had a much better work-life balance with my kids and was able to you know walk them to school and be involved in their lives, which was wonderful. Um, and so I was excited about being in the pharmaceutical business, just because when you're in that business, you're like, oh, I'm help we're helping deliver life-saving medications. We're doing all these great things. But after being in the industry for a while, we've really started to see a lot of the abuses in the industry, um, the over-prescribing of medications, um, just the, you know, using doctors prescribing medications when really they may not be necessary. And, um, and maybe even, I'm, I'm sorry, my screen just went blank. Um, um, <laughs> And, you know, and doctors prescribing medicines, even when they maybe wouldn't, weren't necessary. And then we, we saw it with our own relatives and, and it's, it's a wonderful, you know, pharmaceuticals are wonderful in times of emergency type of situation or acute type of situations, but to be used for chronic conditions didn't make sense to us. You know, we were more like, let's get to the root cause of the problem. And so mm -hmm. through a lot of being at the right place at the right time, um, affirmations, prayer, meditation, all of those things. We actually were able, my husband and I um, did this together. We were able to license these strains from London University, Dr. Simon Cutting, world-renowned probiotic expert. And we were able to go into a field that was so um, impactful and it was actually impacting 
health and society. And it was really exciting. So, um, so we ended up, we decided to launch this probiotic strain and we were, you asked how we came up with the name. I'm so glad you asked that. Cause it's a great story. My aunt who was, I'm really, really was always very close with. She, um, came up with the name just thrive. She was, she was a Michael Jordan fan. We were from Chicago and oh. you know, the just do it thing. And so we decided to go with just thrive. Yeah. And, yeah. um, like so, that. Yeah. And so, and we're like, we just knew when you took care of your gut that all, everything else starts to fall into place. And so there was so much research coming out of the, um, the human microbiome project was launched by the national institutes of health, told us more about the gut than we ever knew before. And really told us that the gut is responsible for virtually every aspect of our overall health. That it's hard to find any disease claim that's out there that's not associated with some imbalance in our gut health. But so few people realize that. And so, um, and so few probiotics on the market were doing what they needed to do. They were not making that journey to the intestines alive. And we could go into that later. But um, so we decided to go ahead and launch this product. And so we came up with this. Um, the name of just thrive. My aunt came up with the name and then we um, ended up going to market and it's, it's been the most gratifying career journey I've ever been on. Yeah. 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 I like what you said about the fact that doctors um, always go through the prescription pack um, and just, and then, and then the crazy thing about it is, you know, you might go in for, let's say that you've got, since we're talking about the gut, we might go in and say, Hey, you know, a doctor I have, constipation and they might just give you a laxative you're right and not yep. even saying well okay let's let's trace why what's happening you know um uh, a lot of people might not know what probiotics do and a lot of people might not know what the word microbiome means so maybe we should you know yeah. explain uh, um you know one of the questions i have here is why is gut health the core of our health overall gets um health so maybe in, in, in answering that question, we can step it back a little bit and talk about microbiome and talk about the blood barrier. I always call it the blood brain barrier, but it's, mm-hmm. I know that there's certain things can pass through your gut and, and cause a whole bunch of disease. Um, I don't know if it's the blood brain or the gut brain barrier because your brain is in a different place, but we can talk about that and, and um, talk about what, what really probiotics, you know, how does that help? Yeah. So uh, really great that we're starting fundamentally because I think it is really important. Um, you know, so our microbiome is the totality of organisms that make up us. So we've got bacteria, viruses, fungi, you know, parasites, all these different things like make up our, the totality of our microbiome. So all of these microorganisms and these micro, most of which are bacteria. And so we are 10 times more bacteria than we are human. So we are 10 times more bacterial cells. We are made up 10 times more of bacterial cells than we are human cells. And bacteria, poor bacterial cells have been so vilified. You know, we think bacteria bad. Bacteria is really not bad. Bacteria is so incredibly beneficial to us, so supportive of our health and our organs. And I I can't stress that enough. You know, less than 1% of bacteria is actually bad. I mean, really, I think bacteria needs a PR campaign because, you know, we, it's really, really good. You know, we, we live in this world with antibacterial hand sanitizers and antibacterial soaps and all these things are killing off our bacteria. And yet our bacteria is so beneficial to us. And so when we just realize that we have to support our microbiome, mostly the, this bacteria in our gut, we need to support it and not kill it off. Um, Mm -hmm. And then we start to realize that when you have this imbalance in your gut microbiome, the majority of your bacteria is found in your gut. And that's why so many people associate, like you said, constipation, diarrhea, gas, and bloating. Those are all signs that you have some imbalance going on in your gut. And Mm -hmm. and that's really important. If you have some of those symptoms, you know, gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, you have some imbalance for sure going on in your gut. But what people are just starting to understand is that it also dictates your brain health. It dictates, um, you know, your mood, how you're feeling, your sleep. It's dictating your hormone health. It's dictating autoimmune issues, your immune system. 80% of our immune system is found in our gut. Our gut bacteria is what dictates, it sends signals to our immune cells. 
and tells them, okay, there's something going on. You need to start fighting this infection or fighting this, you know, whatever virus that you have. So we really, it's really important that we understand that our immune system would cease to function if we, if we don't have the gut microbiome sending signals to our immune cells. So it's really hard to find any health condition out there that's not associated with an imbalance of our gut bacteria. So if you have an autoimmune disease, you know, it's pretty much guaranteed you have imbalance in your gut. You have a leaky gut, which is, I think what you were referring to. Right, right. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> So the right. leakiness of the gut, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. it, we could definitely go into that in more detail. We have a double-blind human clinical trial on leaky gut that is so profound. But um, I just, I think, just to set the groundwork, it's important just for everybody to understand that it is our gut is dictating all aspects of our overall health. And there is something called the vagus nerve that is mm -hmm. sends signals from the gut to the brain, and mm -hmm. then sends signals, the brain send, send signals back down to the gut. So we all know that feeling you're excited about something and you have butterflies in your stomach. That's mm -hmm. going, that is the gut brain connection, that gut brain access. Um, we know when we get nervous, you know, we maybe have to go to the bathroom. Same thing, the brain is signing, sending signals down to the gut. But what we're also starting to understand is now the gut is sending signals to the brain. So if you have, have a healthy, balanced microbiome, they send more calming signals to it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if you, the opposite is true, you have an imbalanced gut, you know, it sends signals to your brain that are not so healthy. So it's really important that we really understand that it is foundational for our health to focus on our gut. It is where we start. You know, people take multivitamins and they take vitamin C and vitamin D, and those are all really important things to be taking, but we need to focus on our gut health before we do anything else. And unfortunately, this world we live in is so offensive to the bacteria. Like I mentioned, you know, we are 10 times more bacterial cells, but yet we're, you know, have and hand sanitizers that have are antibacterial soaps that are antibacterial mm -hmm. um, antibiotics. Antibiotics are incredibly oh, offensive to our oh gut. My gosh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As women, you know, you talk, you take those, you know, those antibiotics that they call them full spectrum or something. It kills everything. And you know, they, it takes about two years, they're saying, for your good bacteria to come back. Yeah, I never take those, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you're absolutely right. I mean, it takes yes. two years. I mean, that's what people have done. It's taking two years to, it, these antibiotics wreak so much havoc and it takes two mm -hmm. years to get your microbiome back to normal if it ever right. does get back to normal. Right. Um, mm -hmm. But antibiotics, not just that we take, and of, of course I do, antibiotics save lives. There are cases mm -hmm. where, and they've saved many lives over, you know, the centuries that we've, you know, or the decades that we've had them. And they're important when, you know, in acute type situations, but not to be taking them all the time. You know, people who have, have been on them for acne, for example. You yeah, know. but 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 what what's the bad ones? It's like you go to the doctor and you have, I have, let's say that you've got a, a yeast infection or something, right? And they don't know exactly which one. So they give you something that kills them all or something. So, exactly. you know, what I've been told is not let them give you um, a back, you know, anti a probi I mean, an, an antibiotic that kills everything. Let them figure out what exactly is wrong with you and maybe just target that one so it doesn't kill off everything. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And good luck to find, you know, a doctor that will do that. <laughs> That's the problem. You know, I mean, I've, I've noticed that doctors don't really um, appreciate the input from their patients all the time. <laughs> I mean, I go to a, like a functional medicine, integrative medicine right, doctor right, right. and she is so phenomenal. You know, she like, she's like, Oh, Tina. So what's going on? Like, what have you learned lately? And, and, you know, she's, she's a collaborator in my health. And, yes. and that's why I'm so passionate about, you know, empowering people. And I I'm so grateful for shows like yours that you bring me on and people like you bring on just to have people imp be empowered to take control of their health, because we need to know what questions to ask. You know, when you go into the doctor and they say, you have an autoimmune issue, um, autoimmune disease, you know, you say, well, why, why is it happening? And what can I do? You know, maybe you need a medication temporarily, but not for the rest of your life. You need to figure out what it is that's causing this imbalance yes. and this issue and getting to the root cause of it. And then, you know, taking yourself on this journey of living your best life and being healthy. So, um, 
you know, I, I would say it's really important that we take control of our health and realize that the gut is so important. And, and I was saying the antibiotics, antibiotics are not, not just antibiotics we take. We could say, oh no, I don't want to take the antibiotic or you hold off on taking it, but it's in our food supply. You know, meat products have antibiotics all yeah. over them and they're passed to us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another big offender of gut health is um, glyphosate. So glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup. So Roundup mm -hmm. is the weed killer, of course, that's sprayed yeah. all over our food supply. And it's, yeah. it's literally all over our produce. And so I always encourage people to try to eat organic. And I know it's hard because it's more expensive, but I, you know, just take yeah, baby. It's also not really organic because they spray that stuff too. Maybe they don't spray Roundup, but they spray something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and the other thing is it, unfortunately like the roundup and all that is in our rainwater at this point. So, but um, you're still yeah. going to have less, you know, but yeah, right, yeah right. it's, mm. it's tricky because we just live in this world that is so offensive. You know, stress is at an all time high. I mean, we know that people, it's a, you know, it's an epidemic of stress mm. that's going on and, you know, that is so disruptive to our gut health. So, um, leaky gut is very disruptive. Like we talked about, um, there is just so many household products that we're taking alcohol, sugar, all these things that are, we're faced with on a daily basis are just so disruptive to our gut health. And unfortunately that's the world we're living in. And this is why we're seeing such a rise in allergies and autoimmune issues with people. You know, when I was a child, which was a long, long, long time ago, we, <laughs> I, I knew one classmate with a peanut allergy from kindergarten all the way through yeah. high school. Now, yeah. of course we know we have peanut free yeah. tables. We have, um, you, you can't go to a restaurant without them saying, you know, are there any food allergies here? And yeah. this is a result of our microbiome being very mm -hmm. imbalanced. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so what are some of the the um? So, your company just thrive focuses on the you know probiotics. So, which helps your microbiome. So, can you talk about um, what does probiotics do before we get into what makes your company different? Sure. Well, it, it probiotics are live bacteria that um, arrive alive in in they arrive alive and confer a benefit onto the host, which is the body. So mm -hmm. they need to arrive alive in the intestines. And when they get to the intestines, they start to make the, the idea of a probiotic is to get in there and make the garden, if you will, better. So if you kind of compare your intestinal tract to your, to a garden, um, mm -hmm. you've got the weeds, which are the bad bacteria. And then you have the good plants that are the good bacteria in, in your gut. So the idea is to get those probiotic strains into the intestines. The problem mm -hmm. with a lot of probiotics on the market, probiotic strains, the vast majority of probiotics um, that are out there is mm -hmm. they have difficulty getting through to that stomach acid. So we know we have a, a stomach that before you get to the, you know, small intestine, that stomach acid is meant to be the gastric barrier. It's meant to keep out things that we don't want in there. So as a result, most probiotic strains really have difficulty getting into the intestines. And so they're dying by the time they get to the intestines. And so that was a big problem that we identified. And so, so to go back to your original question, is it's basically we're supposed to be making that garden better. We're supposed to help get rid of the weeds and get help the plants that have been maybe stepped on and trampled on, help, the, help them come back to life. So that's the point of a probiotic to make the eco, you've got this ecosystem in your gut and to make it more balanced. So we don't necessarily want to get rid of all the bad bacteria. We just want a better balance in the gut of our good and bad bacteria. So the probiotics is putting in like, five million good bacteria so they can outnumber the bad bacteria. Is that the, the ABCs that's, of it? <laughs> uh, well, you know what? That's actually the old way that people used to do probiotics. And that's okay. that's why our we were so different when we came to market with Just Thrive. Mm -hmm. We were disruptors in the market. We had a completely different story. The old idea was to put in this crazy amount of, you know, strains like 50 billion 100 billion, 200 I've seen billion. That in the bottles. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you know, it's America. More is better, you know, really. And there is absolutely no research behind that. I mean, we are a 100% research based company. We have mm -hmm. double blind human clinical trials on our strains. We have, we've done gastric survivability studies. We've done gut model studies. We have done studies after study on our actual formulation and the strains used in our product. And um, of all the research we've done on the microbiome, we have 
have not found anything that tells us that more is better. It's mm. not about put, it's not about taking the seeds and throwing them in that garden. So now you've got like all of these, you know, right, strains right, in there. Right. Remember, mm-hmm. most of those aren't ever getting there. Um, one mm-hmm. of the first studies that we did was a gastric survivability study. We took the leading selling probiotic, sold at a major health food store, 50 billion count product. By the time it got to the intestines, died 99.99% of the strains died by the time they got to the wow. intestines. And this, it, wow. And this is, we, this study has been done by independent. So it's like, it's like they say, when you take those multivitamins and you pee them all out. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Really? Yeah. I mean, unfortunately that's what's happening. And, you know, some people will say that they get some beneficial, they may feel some symptomatic relief from taking like, cause you're, you're essentially getting dead bacteria and some of the byproducts of those dead bacteria may give you some symptomatic relief, but they're mm-hmm. not doing anything in that garden as far as getting rid of the weeds and helping the good plants come back to life mm-hmm. where the strains that are used in just thrive. The difference is that they have this endospore shell around itself. That's why we call them spore-based probiotics. And they have the ability to get through that stomach acid, that gastric system alive. And it's not until they hit the intestines, that's when they take that endospore shell off. And that's when they go into their live vegetative cell state. And the important, and I'm getting a probably a little too science here, here, but you know, it's not that I I understand that because I know, you know, I'm taking your product and I am, and I've seen the difference. Um, uh, you know, I'm taking the Just Thrive probiotic and then I'm taking the Just Thrive Just Calm um, that we're going to talk about later on. And I've noticed the difference. Um, oh, yeah. You know, I've noticed the difference. So and I and I know that your product is you call it spore based and I wasn't quite sure what that was. So you've just explained it. So that's great. Okay. Oh, good. I'm glad I was able to explain it. So yeah, that's what a spore base. It's got an endospore. It keeps it dormant. And then mm-hmm. by the time it gets into the intestines, it takes its shell off and then it goes in its live vegetative cell, cell state, stays there for about 21 to 28 days where it's making a true change in that garden. You know, it's helping get rid of the weeds in the garden. It's helping take those plants that have been stepped on and trampled on and help them thrive and flourish in your gut. And that's why people see such profound results, whether it's, you know, becoming more regular whether it's less gas and bloating, whether it's better mood. You know, I always laugh about the pharmaceutical industry coming from that industry. It's like side effects include, you know, suicidal thoughts, skin rashes, you know, all these awful things with pharmaceuticals. But then you go to the, like our product. And I have so many people that have come to the product because of, you know, gas or bloating, diarrhea, constipation. And then they'll say, you know what? I, I feel like I'm I'm in a better mood. Is, is is that to be expected? Or I'm sleeping better, or I'm able to manage my weight better because your gut bacteria is dictating all of those things, and they yes. people are just starting to realize that. Yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah, I have noticed that um, I'm definitely regular, I'm more mm-hmm. regular, um, uh, and uh, you know, and um, and I'm sleeping better. That's because I'm, uh, you know, this is basically what we're going to be talking about um, today is the gut in the mood and brain health. So, yeah. So, so that's awesome. So you, um, one of your newest products, let's talk about that now for a minute, yes. is the Just Calm. And um, I, I have been dabbling in probiotics and even prebiotics um, for a while. I mean, I don't even know the difference. But <laughs> I heard that there's prebiotics and probiotics and I've taken them um, because I know it's, I've, I've understood that gut health is so important. I've understood that being regular is, is very important. I've understood that um, uh, you're right. If you've got a leaky gut, then, uh, you know, you've got brain fog and you've got all those things uh, that come with it. So I have always um, been focused on my gut health. But yeah, I've not had a probiotic that um, like that just calm. So tell us how yeah. that, what is it that you're doing with this product? Yeah. So this is really exciting. Um, You know, one of our big core competencies in our company is that we do not launch anything unless it's missing and needed in the market. So we do not launch like vitamin C and vitamin D. Those are all really important nutrients, but there's lots of companies out there doing that great. We are only launching products that are truly missing and needed and researched in the market. So we, um, we just discovered this um, probiotic strain. It's called a psychobiotic. So a psychobiotic is basically gut uh, 
friendly probiotic that's actually supporting the gut brain access. So it's further supporting that communication between the gut and the brain. Um, and so we know that the gut, this is really important. I think people are just starting to understand this. 90% of our serotonin, which is our happy hormone is produced in our gut for all yeah. these years. I feel like psychiatrists have had their hands tied by, you know, prescribing, you know, yeah. anti-anxiety. I've been meds. telling you it comes from the brain, but yes, I just, yes, I think, um, uh, Mark, um, I told you, I listened to Mark, Dr. Mark Hyman and he talked about that. So I was aware yes. of that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 90% of our serotonin is produced in our gut. Dopamine is produced in our gut. GABA, wow. which is our calming hormone is produced in our gut. And, and yet nobody's talking about that when it comes to brain health. And so the probiotic alone that you mentioned is it's like 50, you get 50% to 60% there just by taking care of that. Cause you're further supporting your gut health and, and therefore supporting your serotonin production and your GABA and dopamine. But the, the key with the psychobiotic that's found in our product, Just Calm, is that mm -hmm. it's actually supporting that gut brain access. So it's helping bring down cortisol levels. So that's really, really important that we're balancing our is cortisol. Is that produced levels. in the gut as well? Cortisol? Yeah, um, it's produced in the gut and in the brain. So, okay. um, right. and mm -hmm. we know that cortisol is, is really disruptive to our we know it's, you know, it's, we're in that fight or flight response all the time. You know, we, we were raised, we evolved having that fight or flight response, which is very protective for us. Um, I'm sure you talk about it all the time. We, you know, if there's a saber tooth tiger coming after us, we want our cortisol to be increased, but then it goes down after we've escaped danger. The problem is now we, we look at emails and our cortisol goes up. We're in that fight or flight state. And as a society, we can't get down from it anymore. And that's scary because now we're in this chronic, you know, all of this cortisol leads to chronic low-grade inflammation. And so we really want to make sure we're keeping our cortisol levels down um, and, and balanced. So, and so we know that this product, this psychobiotic product in Just Calm, we have a strain that's used in that's been very researched called Bifidolongum 1714, Bifidobacterium longum 1714. This strain has been shown that it's higher in people, in those people that are able to handle stress better. So we all know those people that know how to handle stress better. I've never been one of them, but, um, and we know that really? people- You've been a lawyer. <laughs> I know. I don't know how I did it, but I, I, I must have hit it well. But <laughs> I, I always had very high cortisol levels, believe me. Okay. But um, knowing that how you, you know, you know, those people that just could handle stress better and, and they show that those people have higher levels of 1714. And so mm -hmm. um, we've done research on this showing that people are able to perceive stress um, better. Um, they have better perception of stress. It actually also is helping um, alter our brainwave um, function. So puts putting us more in that theta wave function. So we're in the more of that flow state where we're, our cognitive function is improved, our calmness is improved. So um, the studies on that strain are really profound. And so we launched the product, um, gosh, back in, I think last, uh, almost a year ago, last March. And mm -hmm. You could only, unfortunately, it's such a relevant topic right now. I mean, we were sold out almost immediately and never did I think that we would have sold it out that quickly. And we continue to just see incredible results from the, um, from the product, just to bring people more into that calm and to support that, um, you know, the way we're handling stress. And it's important to understand too, is that it is kind of a two prong. That's probably why Beth sent you both of those products because mm -hmm. um, the probiotic alone is helping seal up that gut lining. When you have mm -hmm. leakiness of the gut, you, toxins from your gut seep into your bloodstream and they start to create this inflammatory response. And you have this chronic low grade inflama inflammation that's sending signals up to your brain. And so now you have inflammation in your brain. And that's the one cause of problems with your brain health are this inflammation coming from your gut. The mm -hmm. other cause of brain inflammation are external stressors. So we get, you know, cut off by traffic. We have a, you know, gotten a fight with a loved one, you know, whatever it might be that's causing this stress that also causes this inflammation. So we want to stop both of those things as much as possible or halt as much as possible. We want to get rid of that leakiness of the gut. And that's what the probiotic is doing. And then those external stressors, we want to be able to manage them better and by lowering our cortisol and the response to them. So that's what the 
Just Calm product is doing is helping communicate between the gut and the brain and um, helping those external stressors that we're faced with. Yes, that's amazing. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I am, like I said, I've been using, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm using both the products and I've noticed the regularity in one end and I've noticed that I'm sleeping well on the other end. So um, I know it's definitely working and, and I'm the type of person that I don't know if it's, I'm not very stressed because I meditate and, you know, um, I work for myself, so there's nothing stressing me, but um, I have a lot of energy, so it's very hard for me to sleep. And I guess it's menopause too. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it every right. time, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard for me to sleep. So yeah, um, I think my, I don't know if my cortisol levels are high or estrogen levels are low or whatever is going on, but yes. I have noticed um, uh, with um, since I've started using um, both of the products, maybe they're working together, that my quality of sleep is so much better. I fall asleep faster. I stay asleep longer. And then I have my Fitbit that I check, you know, my REM sleep and my deep sleep. And um, wow, I'm getting like two hours each, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I love yeah. that. Right. That is amazing. Oh, I, I know yeah. we, we hear, and that's, what's so great is now people could track their sleep with it, whether it's the aura ring, the Fitbit, the Apple watch, yeah. you could be tracking your sleep and pe we're, we actually see like hard results of how this product has helped people with, you know, when you're calmer, you're going to sleep better. It's just, it, it obviously goes hand in hand. So it's, it's been really exciting. And that's, what's so fun about what we do is just, we see the results with the product, you know, you see it and it's, it's, we are looking to impact, make like really impactful changes in society. I mean, even during COVID, it was so nice to know that we were helping people just be, you know, supporting their immune systems and supporting the way their immune system reacts to something. And of course, this was never a cure or anything like that. That's not, but the bottom line is we need to be taking control of our health and being, making sure that our bodies are resilient to handle these things that come our way. There will always be things that come our way. And the point is when you build your gut bacteria and you're building your gut microbiome, you are becoming resilient. I mean, our bodies are beautifully designed to heal themselves. And I think that's something that we we kind of forget about. You know, we think we need a pharmaceutical to, you know, fix a problem. No, that's just a band-aid. We need to make sure our bodies are maintaining their health and that we're really making our bodies as resilient as possible. Yeah. So I'm glad you mentioned COVID because as you were talking um, I that came to my mind that we were talking about the leaky gut and, um, you know, uh, things going through the gut. I remember listening to, again, Dr. Mark Hyman, and I've had some, you know, some um, guests on my show that talk about what happens, what was happening with the cytokine, cytokine storm mm -hmm. is that, you know, um, uh, uh, these things leak through the gut. And then your autoimmune system attacks that. And this is where the, the, the cytokine storm came in. And that was what was putting a lot of people in the hospital. So you're right. If you um, first start by with that, that barrier and making sure that you're not eating the wrong foods that can go through, you know, um, again, Dr. Stephen Gundry talks about um, uh, the lectins that travel through your, your gut barrier and your gut lining and all that. So that's great. So the probiotic kind of seals that up and all that. But, yeah. um, uh, before we end, though, um, you also wanted to talk about intermittent fasting and how that kind of helps with our gut. Can we touch on that? <laughs> sure. So, yeah, intermittent fasting is just another tool I have in my toolbox. You know, there's lots of things. I mean, I, I mentioned in the beginning all the bad news about our gut health is that we live in this world that's so offensive to our gut health and our gut barrier, that leakiness of the gut. I mean, they estimate that 90% of the adult population has a leaky gut and doesn't even realize it. So oh, that's really that's scary. Big. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is a lot. And and people yeah. always ask, is there a test you could take for it? Like, you know, go to Quest or LabCorp. And there really isn't one that's commercially available. There's one in the research setting that we use, but um, there isn't really one that's commercially available. But we know that there's all these offenders out there, but there's also good news. Our gut is capable of being healed and we can do things to really heal our gut. Um, one of which is to, you know, avoid antibiotics, um, avoid sugar, alcohol, all of those things 
the household products that have, that says kills 99.99% of the bacteria. Try to avoid those. You know, we avoid antibacterial soaps and things like that. There's lots of things that we want to avoid. We want to do meditation and deep breathing, whatever it is that calms you down. It's really important, whether even if it's changing your lifestyle, you know, even dramatic changes, maybe it's to your career, whatever it is, but you know, the meditation that you're doing and you're talking about is just so critical. It, people think it's like woo woo. And obviously your audience doesn't, but I mean, it is truly, it has been shown in studies that it ab- actually helps support your gut microbiome. And that's so profound. So doing meditation, doing deep breathing, whatever it is that calms you down is really important. Um, one of the other tools in my toolbox is intermittent fasting. Um, there are studies that show that when you intermittent fast, it actually helps increase diversity in the microbiome. So the important thing in our gut is we want a diverse microbiome. We just we don't want one kind of good bacteria. We want lots of different kinds of good bacteria. And we were born with a lot of diversity. But after years of, you know, in our, in this world we live in, and unfortunately children, it's even worse. I think children now are born in such sterile environments that they're getting rid of all of their good bacteria, but we Mm -hmm. want diversity. And we know that intermittent fasting um, actually helps support diversity, like starving some of those bacteria actually helps them proliferate, which seems counterintuitive, but it's been shown to actually help with, you know, supporting your gut bacteria. I also suggest eating a diverse group of foods. You know, we live in this society where it's like, cut this out, or I'm paleo, I'm vegan, I'm keto, I'm, you know, I don't eat this, I don't eat that. I, I'm a fan of trying to eat as much diversity and get as much diversity in your diet as you possibly can, even if it means going to ethnic grocery stores, getting different kinds of roots and tubers just to, cal- you'll get that bacteria from other societies and, and, and you'll create more diversity in your microbiome. And then of course, taking a spore-based probiotic, I would feel very strongly about would be a, an amazing and powerful tool in your toolbox to, you know, when you're on that journey of supporting your gut health. That's beautiful. I love that. Yes. I learned a few things there about the diversifying your gut bacteria. Yeah. And um, some of the other tools that we can, you know, use as far as, you know, your gut, whether it's food, whether it's probiotics, whether it's meditation. Yeah, that is great. Awesome. 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 All right. So we've talked about two of your products. We've talked about the Just Thrive Probiotic. We've just, we've talked about the Just Calm. Um, what are some of the other products in your product line that you want to, you know, bring to our attention? Yeah. Well, you mentioned the prebiotic. So um, the prebiotic, oh, you got that? <laughs> yes, yes. We have a prebiotic and the key with the prebiotic is like, remember back to that garden analogy, the pre like think of the probiotic as the gardener, the gardener is getting rid of the weeds and helping those plants you know, come back to life. The prebiotic is the fertilizer for that garden. So it's feeding the good bacteria in your gut. So to really, to be defined as a prebiotic, it needs to only target the beneficial bacteria. So the good plants in the garden, but the problem is a lot of prebiotics actually will make a problem worse. You've probably heard of people who have started a prebiotic and started to have more. They maybe took it because they wanted to support their gut health, but prebiotics oftentimes will actually feed the good and the bad bacteria. So oh. they don't know how to distinguish it. So if you look at our probi- prebiotic, it's called a precision prebiotic. Because And we didn't right. launch a prebiotic for a long time because we could not find prebiotic fibers that only targeted the beneficial bacteria. Right. And exactly. so- Right. Yeah. So our prebiotic is really, really important for that. Um, we have a product called gut fortified that's helping the mucosal barrier of our gut. So, you know, we have a, a health, um, not a health coach, but a product coach on our team um, that if people have any questions about which products to start um, there, especially if you have some severe gut dysbiosis and gut issues that you want to deal with, she could help you with a good, you know, plan of what to do of which products to take on all of them. But the, I always suggest that people people start with the probiotic. It is foundational for anything else you're doing. You know, you're, you're eating all these really healthy foods, but if your gut is inflamed, it's not absorbing nutrients. You're taking all these other supplements. If your gut is inflamed, it's not absorbing those nutrients. So I always suggest people start with the probiotic, maybe after a couple of weeks and, and stay on it. We have a 90 day product that is very, very popular. It's our number one selling product because 
people, it, it's important to stay on it for a couple of months where you actually start to notice the difference. Then, you know, maybe after a couple of weeks, start with whatever other product you want, whether it's the Just Calm, um, whether it's the prebiotic, because you want to, the prebiotic is further creating diversity in your gut. The probiotic alone is helping with diversity, but the prebiotic is starting to, you know, make that diversity even better. So a lot of times people come to the product because they have an issue that they want to resolve. Um, and, or some people just come because they know how important it is just to maintain your overall health. But most people just stay on it for, you know, years and years because they know that our every day our gut is imbalanced. Our gut is literally being attacked on a daily basis and we want to keep supporting it. So maybe after you deal with something, maybe you could go to a maintenance, you know, maybe do one every other day or one every third day, but it's really important to keep feeding your, keep supporting that gut bacteria. Um, so we have a vitamin K27 product, which is um, not really a gut we are a very gut focused um, product or company, but um, our vitamin K27 is missing and needing. It's one of the only natural K2 products on the market. We also have a K2 D3 product. So vitamin K2 really supportive of your um, heart health and bone health. We know that vitamin um, or calcium doesn't know where to go. It could, if you take, let's say if you take calcium and you're eating calcium, you know, you're getting calcium in your diet it doesn't know whether it should go to your bones where we want it to go or to go to your heart where we don't want it to go. So that's the role of vitamin K2. The role of vitamin K2 is to direct calcium to where it wants to go, to where we want it to go, which is the bones and take it away from where we don't want it to go, which is the heart. Um, and we have a pet probiotic, which has been really exciting. Um, <laughs> my gosh, we have, we have a, a wow. lot. We have a, a gluten away product. That's really great for um, the accidental exposure to gluten. Um, so we have some pretty game changing probiotics um, that are really disruptors in the world and just making a difference. And the other great thing is we have a lot of science on our blogs. You know, we're, we really are, committed to empowering people to take control of their health. It, that's super important to us. And whether it's our probiotic or another probiotic, just, you know, get on a probiotic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and eventually yeah. you'll figure yeah. like I always, my competitors are not other probiotics. I'm so happy when someone just goes to a probiotic, eventually they're going to figure out this is the best one out there, but yeah. you know, let them, let them go on their own journey. But um, it, I just love when people start to question the pharmaceutical model and, and come to us to empower themselves with health. That's beautiful. I love it. All right. So where can um, the listeners go to, you know, to see your product line um, and um, yeah, whether they can follow you on social media um, and also you, you talk about your blog that you can give them some information. And you also talked about a, a product coach if they wanted to, contact someone and ask some questions. Yeah. So the best place to find us would be at our website, which is just thrivehealth.com. So just thrivehealth.com. Um, and we have, um, Beth came up with a coupon code for your customers. So that's exciting. So, um, okay. it's the coupon code is transform and you could get 15% off on that. So that's exciting. Um, and on Instagram, you could go to, um, just thrive, health on Instagram as well. And then if you go to our website at justthrivehealth.com, you could email our 1-800 numbers on there. You could contact, make an appointment with our uh, product coach and she could help you through anything um, as far as what products you want to start with. Um, but definitely, I mean, the overwhelming majority of people start with the probiotic and then start to introduce um, the Just Calm or the prebiotic and then start, you know, introducing all of the other, not all of the other products, but ones that are relevant to them. Right. Our IgG product is so great for immune health and gut barrier to help further seal up the gut barrier. So uh, lots of really um, unique research products that are really making a difference. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this was a very, um, you know, um, a conversation because you're right. Um, uh, we started off by saying that people don't understand why gut health is the core of overall health. And we have just spent, you know, 45 minutes sharing why it's very important because yeah, you want to, you know, there's there's a saying that if you want to um, if you want to make a difference in this world by doing anything, you first have to feel good. Yep. Oh, you are absolutely <laughs> you don't right. Feel good, you can't do anything. And where do you feel good? It all starts with what you eat. It all starts with your gut. 
yeah, I mean, uh, you know, yep. we're talking about maybe depression or something that's, you know, some of the brain stuff, but we've also talked that, um, uh, you know, serotonin and all those things are produced in the gut. So yeah, maybe if you get gut health, then maybe it will help with the, the you know, the brain health thing. So um, yeah, it's very important. So this is a, this was a fabulous conversation. Like I do intermittent fasting, you know, I was doing intermittent fasting for the weight loss portion of it. Um, but I've heard so many things about why intermittent fasting is so good for, because when you give your body or your gut a chance to rest, then, you know, you, you, you take down all your, your markers, whether it's, um, your diabetes or you're talking about autoimmune and, and then you, you added something just now when you, I didn't, I didn't know that part before, but you're saying that when you starve them, you allow them to differ, you know, your, your bacteria to diversify. So, mm -hmm. I mean, all of these are benefits. <laughs> that's right. No, that's absolutely yeah. right. I know yeah. it's, a, it, and it's so funny. People never think that anxiety or depression has the same root cause as osteoarthritis, you know, which is an autoimmune issue. It's like, or room, I'm sorry, rheumatoid arthritis, not osteo, but rheumatoid arthritis. Like who would have thought that like these, all of the allergies have the same cause as, you know, a skin rash that you have on your body, you know, like skin rashes, acne, all these things are all related to the health or unhealth of your gut. Right. Right. Yeah. So Tina, this has been a wonderful conversation. Oh, I learned this is things. I yeah, um, you guys, I hope that you, if you were not in the space of, um, uh, you know, focusing on your gut, your gut health, then Tina has expanded your awareness and expanded your knowledge. Head over to justthrivehealth.com. Um, follow her on her, her company on Instagram. Again, just help, just thrive health. Um, I will have a transcript of my conversation with Tina on the show page, which is blog.myhelps.us. We will also have a coupon, the 15% off coupon listed there. So you can just click on it. And also I will have the links to the website and of course um, her Instagram handles and all that. So listen, guys, I am, um, I love what I do. I love bringing you fantastic guests to transform your mind so you can transform your life. Like today, we're talking about transforming your mind on the gut and the importance of it to overall health. And if you were not paying attention to it now, now you're aware. So now that you're aware, now you should do something. Like Tina said, if you just want to try one product, start with the, pre the, the probiotic and, um, and definitely try the just calm because we all need sleep. You know, we can yeah. go into another episode about all the benefits of sleep and making sure your cortisol is down, um, you know, REM sleep and deep sleep. Very, very important. Very, very yeah, important. Yeah. And it also helps support your meditation too. I mean, when you're, you know, obviously it's going to help support you getting into that fade away of activity. Yeah, right. Yes, exactly. So um, yeah, gut health, sleep, all those different things you know, um, uh, be a good gardener. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. Be a good gardener. Make sure you add the fertilizer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, That's the amazing. changes will right. be profound. What was that? The changes will be profound when you start yes, doing that. The changes will be profound. Yes. I, I, I'm the testimony, right? I'm definitely a testimony. All right. Well, listen, guys, thanks for tuning in. Tina, any last words before we wrap up? Um, you know what? One of the things I like to tell people is just give themselves grace and just go slowly with whatever journey that you're on. Um, you take baby steps that turn into huge steps. So um, that would be my party. And like you said, maybe start with one product or one of the tools I mentioned and just slowly get yourself into um, a routine with whatever it is that you're doing. Just take baby steps and you make huge changes in your life. Yes. And then just thrive. It's just like, just go do it. <laughs> just go do it. Just do it. Just thrive. Exactly. <laughs> just try. Uh, but thank you, Myrna, for having me so much. It's been so much fun talking to you. And I love yeah, the work that you do. So thank you. I enjoyed our conversation um, because I'm in the space and I know how important it is. So I'm glad to share you with my listener and audience. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. 
If you're listening to this on iTunes, I would love for you to rate and review. If you're watching this on YouTube, I would love for you to subscribe so that you will get the profound information that I share with you every week by bringing on you know, quality guests like Tina. So until next time, namaste. Namaste.